Hi everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this brief demonstration here, uh, I'm going to show you how to deploy a simple web application directly from the Azure portal, like uh, as we did that in the previous demonstrations throughout this course, right? Uh, the idea of this demonstration isn't uh, to get into the technical nuts and bolts because that's not what Azure AZ900 is looking for. Instead, uh, it's just to show you where you can go and, and how to familiarize yourself with the Azure portal and the overall process for performing basic tasks within the Azure portal right now i am in my azure portal and i'm logged in as my admin now if you log into your own azure portal you may see a different screen here right uh, this is the default home fair home page right let's go ahead and create a web app now to do that it's pretty straightforward we simply click on create resource here and then from here i can either search in the marketplace here or uh, for, for the web app, or I can select it from the popular list here, right? So we'll go ahead and select web app here. So, uh, as you can see, we have a couple of tabs to be filled here. That is basics, deployment, monitoring, tags, review, and of course, review and create, right? We, uh, let, let's go ahead and create a basic web app here. So what I'm going to do is deploy into my MS Dream subscription. So if you have any other subscription, go ahead and select from the drop down list. So also you need to configure a resource group here. Uh, you have also uh, you also have to tell what resource group you are using to deploy this. So we'll select my resource group here. All right if you do not have one go ahead and click on create new and give it a name and then the resource group will be up and run, running for you so i have my own resource group created already so i'm not going to add a new one so later uh, you need to name this web application now the name here that i give uh, to my web app it has to be unique across entire azure landscape because whatever name I give here uh, is going to be appended with the Azure websites.net, right? So I can't call my web app something that's already in existence because it's going to be the same as someone else's website, right? So let's try and call this as demo AP2021. Okay, we are good to go because it has given us a green validation tick here. So my web app will be accessed in a browser by using FQDN of demo app 2021.azurewebsites.net. Then we have two different uh, then we have two different options here for publishing our web uh, that can be published as a code or in a Docker container, right? I'm selecting as a code uh, as I'm going uh, I mean uh, as I'm going to uh, deploy this in a container, right? as i'm not going to deploy it in a container i leave it is set to a code and then what, what i'll do here is i'll select the code i want to deploy right go ahead and select whichever the code you want whichever the language you want right there are so many uh, languages of which azure web app uh, supports so for this demonstration i'm going to select dotnet for 3.1 right i will select that after that, you will be having two options of operating system. Either you can run this on the Linux environment or Windows environment. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the Windows environment, so I'm going to select Windows here, right? Region, go ahead and select the nearby region to you. So I'm going to select East US. If you are in the uh, West Europe or some, some other region, go ahead and select that from the drop-down list. All right. Uh, now uh, we we need to uh, create a app service plan right uh, if you do not have one you can see that in the drop down list i do not have one but uh, the uh, this option will by default create a new app service plan if you do not have one go go ahead and create new 
but by default azure will offer uh, a app service plan that that uh, already creates right so you, you you can also check the sku sku that is a software development kit and size so i'm selecting a standard s1 which is a total of 100 total acu that is under the traffic and the memory is 1.75 gigabytes right now the, let's go and see uh, deployment preview it's under preview that means uh, microsoft it, it is in the beta test uh, for few, few people this will be integrated so they can check if it is good or not so the preview is not not, not uh, for everyone right next let's go to the monitoring uh, in monitoring you have uh, many things to happen like enable application insights and so on so i'm leaving it as default and i'm going to tax in tax as you know you can go ahead and add your own tags for for the web application which you are building but i'm not interested in doing that so let's go on to the review and create right uh, if if your uh, summary is good enough if you are happy with your deployment process please go ahead and create uh, this web application by hitting the create button uh, it probably take um, five to uh, ten minutes to get deployed so wait for a couple of minutes but uh, you you need not wait for it because i've already created a web application with the same procedure no nothing different so i'll go to that and see how how it looks right i'm going to web app demo 2020 right let's give a couple of minutes all right now uh, this will be the page when when your uh, web application gets deployed successfully right after getting deployed you, you need to check all these things present here that is the resource group it is in the my resource group status it is running location east us subscription subscription id url so on and so forth right the url part here is very very important because if you copy that and paste it in an incognito window let's go and click on in incognito window okay all right uh, now let us paste that url which we have copied so uh, as you can see uh, this is a very basic website right you, you cannot do anything but but what you can do is uh, you can go to the web application and configure the web application or deploy the code however you want for doing that you need to go to configuration takes a couple of seconds let's wait for it to respond all right uh, now we are in the configuration wizard so you can change the application settings you can also change the general settings where you can change the stack you can change the version of dotnet which we have chosen to deploy you can also add default documents like uh, you, you can go ahead and create uh, let's say you want to just create a, a web application which says hello world right you can code that using html and I add that document in this particular window i mean in, in this particular wizard so that gets deployed you can also change the path path mappings right you can do a lot of things by using azure web application also one important thing when you go back to the web application as you can see the name of web app, the name of the web application which we are deployed which we have deployed here web app demo 2020 will be in this particular url web app demo 2020.azurewebsites.net so it, the name which you give should be unique because we are accessing this web application by using this url you can also add your custom domains to this instead of this particular thing uh, to do that you need to go to custom domains right uh, if you have uh, any custom domain uh, taken from the internet uh, from godaddy or something like that you can add your custom domain let's say you are having my or your name dot you are you are having a custom domain called your name.com just go ahead and click on add custom domain and that that particular custom domain will be added this to this particular web app application right 
so uh, that, that looks pretty cool right you can do whatever things you want you can post your website in uh, in your fingertips right uh, that is it for uh, today's lecture uh, we have talked about the web application how to uh, build a web application and so on right uh, i think i hope uh, this this is it for the day and uh, i hope you liked it uh, thank you and i'll see you in the next one with more fun and interesting lectures thank you